Hey everybody, it's your boy LaBay of Rome, the Disabled Fragrance Guy, and I'm back for another review. Do me a favor, if you haven't done so already, please go down below, like, and subscribe to the channel. You guys know your support means everything to me. Uh, while you're down there, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified about every time I drop a video to YouTube. Guys, today's review is a special one. It's very, very, very unique. I have never come across a fragrance uh, the likes of which I'm going to review for you today. So I was just perusing Instagram one night and I found this uh, company called uh, Ballistic Therapy. And I went to their page because anything that has ballistic in the title, I, I definitely want to check out. Um, and I noticed one of their fragrances and so unique, so just, it, it caught my attention. And so I reached out to the company um, and I inquired about getting at least a sample for this review. They humbly obliged. So I have to shout out Ballistic Therapy and Jan Mim for contacting me back and supplying a uh, sample of this fragrance for my review today. This is a review on Ballistic Therapy's 9mm. And let me tell you guys, this is this is something sweet, man. I, oh, I, I just can't wait to get into this. Um, so Ballistic Therapy, this is a fragrance that comes in 100 milliliter size. And if you can see uh, from this sample, yes, it is presented in a nine millimeter shell casing. I am not kidding you guys. This is a nine millimeter shell casing. This is the most unique presentation that I have ever received in a fragrance. Um, I believe the full bottle actually comes with a nine millimeter uh, round in, in the fragrance. Uh, so uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what I saw on Instagram. I am certainly gonna leave some information down in the description below, but let's get into it. Uh, this comes in 100 millimeter size. I do have a sample for my review. Uh, the nose for this fragrance is Geza Shon, and I believe we know Geza from um, Molecule 01. Uh, the scent family, the classification is dysfunctional misfit because as Geza Shon has described, this doesn't fit into any uh, known fragrance category that I've ever heard of. Uh, so props to that because this is this is something interesting. Let me tell you, uh, the notes from the top are bergamot, gunpowder. Yes, gunpowder as a note in this fragrance, uh, cardamom and nutmeg. The mid notes are black jasmine, red pepper, and black orchid, and the base notes are leather, isoe, super, vetiver, gaiac, moss, and musk. And I have it on my arm right here. I'm not going to try to take the cap off again because it is a little tricky to, to take off. But I do have it on my hand right here. And what you are going to get is firepower fascination, guys. I am fascinated by this fragrance, let me tell you. It's bright, yet it's dark. It gives you the sense of being on the firing range um, right from the jump. It's bright dark, dirty, gritty, spicy. Um, it's very masculine, but it can also be, it, it's also unisex. I believe a woman uh, can pull this off quite well if she's used to wearing uh, men's fragrances. Definitely unisex in my opinion. Uh, take Would take a confident woman, but this is definitely unisex. Um, from the start, I get a very high dose of gunpowder. Now, I have never ever had gunpowder as a note in a fragrance. I've never smelled it uh, as a note in a fragrance. So from that standpoint, this is so unique to me and it's so interesting. I absolutely am enamored by this fragrance. Um, the gunpowder from the start is mixed with the nutmeg, which gives it a little bit of a, a dirty yet spicy uh, a scent to it. Uh, it's fairly linear. What you're going to get from when you apply this is what you're going to get in the dry down. I don't think it, at least it doesn't change on my skin too much. Um, I don't feel the jasmine. I applied this about 20 minutes ago. I don't feel the jasmine, but I do feel the red pepper. And the red pepper and the bergamot and the gunpowder marry so well together. It's, it, like I said before, it's bright yet dirty yet gritty. Ugh, this is... This is something special.
guys, I can't even. So unique, so very mysterious. Um, it doesn't project very well, at least not on my skin. However, the ISOE Super is going to um, get you noticed. As we all know with ISOE Super, it's it's a one molecule thing. Um, it does, you can't smell it on yourself, but others can smell it on you. That's the fascination that I had with Molecule 01. I couldn't really smell it on myself too much, but when I passed other people, I got the most interesting reactions in the world. Actually, one person, uh, as they passed me by, actually turned around, did an about face, tapped me on my shoulder and asked me what fragrance I was wearing. Back then I was wearing Molecule 01. Um, yeah, this is just, it's so mysterious and gritty, but so bright and fascinating that I believe you should absolutely, uh, this is a must try. If you are into, into niche fragrances, if you are into fragrances that break molds, break barriers, and are unique and don't smell like anything else, get, get your nose on nine millimeter, man. I'm telling you, this, this is something that any serious fragrance collector, connoisseur, needs in their collection. If not for the fragrance, for the nine millimeter casing, man, let me tell you, look at that. Look at that presentation. That's even on the sample. I need to get my hands on a full bottle so I can see that presentation, but on the sample, stunning, stunning. So thank you, Ballistic Therapy, for providing me with the sample. I absolutely love the presentation, you guys. It's so unique, and you guys hit it out the ballpark with that. Um, in smelling this, back in 1999 and 2000, I was part of an internship program for students with disabilities at my school, at my college. And so I was actually uh, asked to fly out to White Sands Missile Range, New Mexico, to work as a staff writer for the Department of Defense. Um, and so I was on a military post with all four branches of the military, Air Force, Marine, Army, Navy, um, and I was tasked with writing stories, you know, what was going on around the base, what was the new missile coming out, or what new test were, the, were we uh, going to explore to uh, uh, bolster the nation's defenses. And let me tell you, 9mm brings me right back to that time because I am brought back to uh, just the dirty grittiness, the smelling of the metal, the smelling of ballistics being fired, the smelling of, of the military, man. This is, if you are mil active military or former military, you gotta get your nose on this. You have to get your nose on this because if you have had memories uh, with, your, with your comrades, pleasant memories with your comrades, this will bring you back to those wonderful memories that you have in that brotherhood, in that band of brothers right there. Man, this, this is something to behold. Um, I had the best time of my life uh, working for the Department of Defense for uh, two summers as a staff writer. And 9mm brings me right back to that time. I'm walking through the post, I'm smelling the, the air with the hot metal in the air and, and the desert heat and, and the, the masculineness of, of the military personnel on base. Man, this is just, this is so good to me. This is so good to me. Um, guys, I can't say enough about this. You know, I like bringing you, you, you know, I like bringing you unique fragrances that break the mold, that break barriers. This is definitely one of them. I'd like to shout out again, nine million uh, ballistic therapy and Jan Mim for just providing me with this sample. It took a while to get here. They shipped it all the way from uh, Germany. Uh, but once it arrived, man, I, I am. I'm stoked to have this in my collection and I will definitely be searching out a full bottle sometime soon. If you guys like unique fragrances, get your nose on 9mm. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. The performance is there. It lasts about seven hours on my skin. I believe that is more than enough to satisfy any wearing. It lasts about a full work day. Um, I believe it is priced at 125 euro. I'm not sure what that translates into in US dollars but I will leave that information in the description down below so that you guys know. Guys, thank you again for rocking with me. I appreciate you guys for taking time out of your day to uh, look at this content.
be sure to go down below, like and subscribe to the channel, and also hit that notification bell, and I'll see you next time. This is a stunner, guys. You've got to get your nose on this. I can't say anything more about it. I'm in love with it. It's unique. Get your nose on it. I'll see you next time.